Hello everybody, how you doing? It is me! Yay! Anyways, real quick, another drink review. This one, Mrs. Wombat suggested I do. It is for Milkus. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, it is a new feeling of soda beverage. No caffeine, no preservatives. It's a refreshing milk and yogurt flavors and it's carbonated. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm glad it comes only in an 8.45 ounce can because I really don't know what it's going to taste like. See, it's all sealed up still. I'm not going to shake it up because it's carbonated. It contains filtered water, sugar, carbon dioxide, powdered skim milk, citric acid, yogurt flavor, phosphoric acid, soybean, polysaccharide. Allergen alert contains milk and soybeans. And it is a product of Korea, made in Korea. So, let's see if the Korean people know something that I don't know, that this is like something that's like really amazing. Why not? All right, here we go. Check it out. It smells like sour milk already. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> Pinky's out. Gotta be classy, right? Pinky's out. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. This is not good. <laughs> Let me take another taste just to make sure. Initial taste is like somebody pranked me. They took Seven Up that was starting been out left out a while, then put back on the refrigerator so it'd be cold, but starting to get kind of flat, and then poured some milk over the top of it. <laughs> it's not good at all. No, 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 no. It's my yard. I'll get it later. That's where that goes. I'm glad I brought good old Aquafina. You never let me down, Aquafina. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways, it is Super Bowl Sunday, as I've also heard it. Actually, not actually physically heard it, but I've seen it written out by a couple different people, actually. Supper Bowl. Yeah, supper, like dinner time, and then bowel, like, well, you know. <laughs> not not a stimulating image of any kind that, that I think it is. And uh, that milk's messing with my tongue. Okay. Uh, score on that little milkus, milkius, whatever it was, thing. Uh, one out of ten, I'll give it a nope. <laughs> Just that straight up nope. <laughs> if you like it, good. There'll be more than you'll want at the store. Sometimes you see some of the stuff, and I bought that at Ralph's in case you guys are wondering. And again, Ralph's not a sponsor. Milk is not a sponsor. I have no sponsors. I have handlers. Mrs. Wombat is my handler, so... <laughs> I got that going for me, right? This is, I hope this taste doesn't linger for a long time. Okay. Yes. The water's helping kind of dilute it. Don't want to just make this a stream of me chugging water like some camel or farmyard animal or something that... That's not what you guys came for. <clears throat> you guys want to hear my thoughts on the Supper Bowl or <laughs> the Super Bowl. I know it's called the Super Bowl. I understand it's football. I know all that. Get a team from... Mar Here's where I get kind of sketchy. American Football League and the National Football League, I believe, are the two leagues. They have different teams on one league, and I don't understand how it splits up. I don't follow any kind of sports at all. 
number one, I've got something. I don't know what exactly it is. Probably ADHD. It distracts me like there's no tomorrow. But, um, you know, football, it's American football, okay? For those of you anywhere else, and I do have some friends across the pond, and we're talking about American football, not football that us dumb Americans call soccer. Soccer, I loved to play it as a kid, again, because of the ADHD. It was kind of like watching me play soccer was probably like this one cartoon that Bugs Bunny was in where he challenged these guys to a baseball game. I think the Gas House Gorillas, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that was the team that he was playing and he challenged them to some game and stuff because I guess he was booing who they're playing. Again, they're all, we're, we're challenging. Okay. So anyways, it was like, first base, Bugs Bunny, second base, Bugs Bunny, third base, Bugs Bunny. And he's he like covering all the positions. And it was like, yeah, that was me when it came to playing uh, American type soccer. And again, this was back in, you know, elementary school age. I was hyper, I was fast. Wherever the ball was, I was pretty close to it. Knocking shins with people. Not intentionally, just trying to get the ball, you know? That's, that's what we're told to do. But I was trying to play, like, all the positions. Not because I thought I was I was great and everything. I'm just like, I'm just going to have fun. I don't care. <laughs> that was, that's what I was doing. I was just having having a good old time whistle would blow all the time I think it blew so much it just kind of became background noise and it was usually beep, 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 point at me and I'm looking around me like all oh, yeah I knew it was me but I'm like as soon as I heard the whistle blow I'm like okay I kind of draw back a little bit and then wait for about five minutes and <laughs> rush around and and do it again. But every year when the Super Bowl comes up, I know there's people that just go crazy. If it's your thing, hey, that's great. And if your team is in there, even better. And if your team wins, you know, big props to you. That's awesome. But it's like, I always mess with people. I always pretend like I have no idea about anything. So And I just mix up all the genres. And it drives not everybody, but a lot of people pretty crazy. So I'll go, oh yeah, big game's coming up, huh? Yeah. Super Bowl. Super Bowl Sunday. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, cool. So um, Kobe's playing, right? And if you know who that is, that's Kobe Bryant for the Lakers. No, this basketball. Okay. How about Wilt Still Chamberlain? No, basketball again. Gretzky? No, hockey. All right. So this is that thing where they run back and forth and and score hat tricks and touchdowns and field goals and holes in one. You're, yeah, you got the touchdown, but the other stuff. So, okay. So they knock somebody down, they touch them, they go, you're touchdown. That's, I seen that, where they, the guy's running with like the little, the little ball thing and they tackle him down. That's a touchdown when they put him on the ground and they touch him. <sighs> and they get all irritated and stuff. <laughs> I just do it with a straight face. I'm like, that's, that's what it is, right? And then I really mess with them. I say they do the two-point conversion. Yeah, yeah. So you really do know what football is. I go, yeah, you got two guys. I think it's the Foot Locker guys with the black and white shirts that point at each other. There's like two people pointing. So that's the two-point conversion. When they point and say you got to go the other way. They're like... And by that time, <laughs> I get peppered with some F-bombs. And sometimes saliva and whatever the person was eating because not intentionally but they're just so frustrated they can't control what is coming out of here <laughs> or they just walk away in disgust about 95 percent of the time is walk away with disgust i'm pretty fast on my feet and i can usually spot the sprayers and usually i don't you know i gotta think about people's space i gotta think about my own space so i kind of you know respect a distance. I'm not going to be in somebody's face, especially if they're a sprayer. Maintain proper distance. You don't want any of that stuff. You know, I figure if it's their food, they can eat it. They don't need to share it with me, especially that way. <laughs> Anyways, you know, it's 
it's nice. One of the things that I really like when it's Super Bowl Sunday is the traffic. Usually on a Sunday afternoon or even a Saturday afternoon, because I, you know, I'm usually at work Monday through Friday, but I have Saturdays and Sundays off, and I usually use that time to run errands and stuff. But what's nice on this and, and other weekends, but this one especially, this is like no traffic. Usually by now, I'd see like a string of about 15 to 20 cars in front of me. And I am seeing one car, and I can see probably about a quarter of a mile, half a mile in front of them. Nobody. And I was like, yeah. So I'm going to pop into the store, get a couple things. I may or may not turn on the TV, depending on how we're feeling. I might be curious just to see you know, what Justin's going to do for halftime. He may or may not show up. If so, i got to make myself available. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Not really. <laughs> no. But I may, I may turn it on, you know, sometimes I catch the commercials afterwards. Because they always show this on YouTube anyways. People are like, Oh, did you see that one Doritos commercial? Oh, you mean the one that was a variation of the one back in 2003? Only they had different actors and they did this. And the, the setting was different, but the main the main plot line was the same. No, it was totally different. It's like, some people are so amazed. At, it, it, there, okay, okay, there are there are some good commercials, some ones that are really thought out. And then other times, there has been some rehashing of commercials. Sometimes I'll go, wow, this is, this. no, no, it's not the same. Is it? No, it's, it's close. It's very, very close, but it's not the same. I remember there was one commercial where the dog was taught to fetch a beer, and I think another one, the dog was taught to fetch Doritos. And I think maybe the dog was even taught to call Domino's or Papa John's or whoever the particular pizza company that is sponsoring their ad and, you know, the dog learns how to dial the phone and drive the car and pick up pizza. If, they, if that's not a commercial, there's a freebie for you guys. But it's always, it's always something. You know, the, the Clydesdales, they're cool. They're huge. I've seen them in real life. They're big horses. They're majestic. But I mean, every year, I guess that's what people expect to see every year is what are the Clydesdales going to do? They kind of do the same thing. They kind of run. You get this big old furry... Actually, it's horse hair, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Their hooves are all covered. And they're all... I mean, they, they do them up. They clean them up. They look really, really nice. And they're still pulling around. Stagecoach. <laughs> and there's always the obligatory dog who's friends with one of the horses... They grew up, it was a dog and pony show when they started off. Pup and pony, maybe, if you, if you will. <laughs> but they do the same thing, you know. I think this year there was like a, a Bud Light night or something, which is not to be confused with the Dorito Samurai that was a few years back. See, I, I could be right in these commercials, right? <laughs> uh, So, I will just do, do my thing. What is my thing? I guess right now my thing is probably sampling random unknown sodas to see if they're worth drinking and put the results up here. I, I do really do not know. Um, yeah. So, that's about it. Hope you enjoy your foosball. It's not foosball, mama. It's football. Yeah, yeah, foosball's the devil. <laughs> yeah, random, random 90s movie uh, quote there that I think just about everybody on here has seen. And remember, an alligator is only mad because he ain't got a toothbrush to reach all them teeth. 
It's not as medulla <laughs> I can't even say it. But anyways, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> oh, anyways. Have a great day. Enjoy your American football. I'm going to go play some rugby myself. Crikey, put a shrimp on the bobby while I don't you? Cheers, mate. It's been a fine one coming on the motorway right over here yonder and I don't even know what accent I was trying to do. Uh, now there's cars. I gotta drive. I'll see you guys later.